The whole point, the whole purpose of setting up your wastegate preload is so we achieve target boost without overboosting. So the best way to do that is through a data log. Now, if you have a power vision, whether it's the old generation or the new generation, you can actually do a record while you're driving down the street. Now we have the car loaded on the dyno, but it doesn't matter. We're actually not gonna use the dyno other than just run the car. We're gonna use the actual device itself to record a data log, and then we're gonna take those values and look to see if our, if our crack pressure is adequate or our wastegate preload is adequate for the car. So let's get started. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and plug into the service connector. Now on the 2019, KM X3s, the service connector is located underneath a little cover here. On the earlier models, they're located in the glove box right here. So we're going to connect, and this center button right here, the center button right here, is going to be what we're going to do to press record. So we're just going to do a sample right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and push the center button, and it says, um, well, they did that a little quick, but I'll push it again recording this green light is on and that means that we're recording so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and drive the car center button now that I'm done recording and it says recorded and it tells me what log file that is. Now I can just go over to any computer and plug this in. Find the cable. Okay, so these power visions, they actually work like a thumb drive. So we're gonna see our log files right here, okay? So log one was the one that I did when it was just, just started up, and log two is actually the one that I essentially just floored the car to see what kind of boost levels we are hitting. Okay, so right here, Dynojet Power Core, this is actually what you would need to do to view your logs. Now, if you don't have this software, the way that you would do it, you would just go to the good old handy dandy internet, type in dinojet.com, okay, and you would go to downloads, and right here, PowerCore Software Suite. You would go ahead and you would download this right here, install that software, and that's going to allow you to look at your files and data. So since I already have it installed here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up C, uh, this, this data center right here, this WinPEP data center. I'm going to open that up. Okay. And now I'm going to open in my power vision, my log file. I'll open that up. Okay. And what's really nice about these log files, it doesn't matter if your file is encrypted or not, you can still look at the log file itself. So I'm going to go over time here, and here is our max target boost, okay? And I do that by selecting over here, I can go into the vehicle of choice, ECU, and I'm looking for target boost. Now on this side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up manifold pressure. And you can see that the manifold pressure, so this one right here, max manifold pressure, that's darker red, and this is a lighter red. So our lighter red, this is what we want for boost levels on this car, and this is actually what we're getting. Okay, so you can see if we zoom in, and if you actually right click, it's kind of cool. Show cursor. You put it right there. Do it again, and it shows us the discrepancy. Now this is in HG, uh, so inches of mercury, 
Um, and it shows us that we want to hit 70, but we're only hitting 60. Now this car has got an E98 tune in it, so yeah, we want a lot of boost on this car. However, it doesn't matter, um, you know, what tune you have. Otherwise, you know, we're looking at, you know, we're looking at a prescribed target, and this is what you're doing for actual. So, according to this, we need to increase the wastegate uh, preload to achieve target boost. So now we're going to go ahead. Tighten up the wastegate actuator and run the car again using our logs. We're going to see if we are good to go. And it's hot. It's so hot. Yep. So when you're going in and you're doing this, you just want to kind of make sure that you're not getting overzealous. That's five full turns of preload right there. And go ahead, reinstall my arm. Find my little clip. We are going to test it again.